there is this push in the media to be the first to get out whatever the latest breaking information, especially around the coronavirus epidemic, is. You know, they can stake their claim on that, which at times means the information they're getting out isn't necessarily vetted, it's not been confirmed, and science is based on the confirmation of our results. It's not been confirmed scientifically, it's not been confirmed by another expert. So at times we have some questionable information that's getting out there. The other side of that is you have a public that's receiving that, that is dealing with a large volume of information, a large volume of very complicated medical information. And as anybody who's been to their doctor knows, medical information inherently is filled with jargon and complex ideas. So you do have a clash going on right now where we're not giving ourselves the time or in some cases the effective methodology to do the best job at communicating, but we're pushing more and more of this content on a public that's not prepared to handle it. You're seeing some of that risk play out today, the risk of the public not understanding. Um, and that's through a lot of the clickbait, false information that we see that's permeating the internet and a lot of our social media. It erodes our trust in our experts. It erodes the trust in the process itself. There are people whose entire job is to set up and post exciting inflammatory articles to drive clicks to a website. They don't care about content. They don't care about science. They don't care about trying to better a person's life through education. We need scientists who can communicate effectively to get out into the public to talk about it. So again, it comes back to our understanding of the scientific process of what that evidence means and what that means for our society.